I'm back out here at the old mill in South Carolina. Got my brother-in-law hunting with me today. It's his first time really detecting. He's been here 15 minutes and already popped out an Indian head. So off to a good start. Wild Digger is supposed to join us sometime tomorrow. And uh, we'll see what we can turn up. We'll get back with you when we find something. Just got a St. Christopher's medallion on a 1244 signal. I don't see any markings on it. it. It might be just plated, but I'll get it cleaned up after a while and we'll get a better look at it. About six inches down, I just got a 1237 signal and popped up a nice green coin. Hopefully it's an Indian. Let's pop it out of here and find out. Nope, just a green wheat scent. It's got a uh, 1244 signal and right down there, maybe four inches deep. I got what I'm pretty sure is a silver ring. I don't know if you can see it. There's a lot of shadows out here right now, but I think it's stamped 0.925 on the inside there, or it might be on the other side. Anyway, I'll get a picture and add it to the video. On to the next. Green wheat scents everywhere today, but so far I haven't dug much silver other than a little ring. Keep going, see if we can get some silver. Back out here at this old mill, day two, I got my buddy Wild Digger, Roller Jones, and my brother-in-law with us here. Howdy. And I guess we've been here for, what, 30, 45 minutes? You have, we've been here a little longer. And first silver of the day is a Barber Dime. Gonna be a 1912. I don't know about the mint mark. No mint mark. All right, guys, we'll keep going. All right, guys, right next where we got the barber dime. I mean, one foot over. We just got a 1346 at six inches. Popped out a barber quarter. 1912. I'm not gonna look for a mint mark right now because it's pouring down rain, but. Might be onto a little spill here. Keep my fingers crossed. I'll take it. <laughs> Wild Digger just got him one. It's a V nickel? Yeah. All right. The rain ain't helping. I might be able to. I see. I gotta get my toothpick out and right. get over here in the trees again real quick. We'll show it again in the wrap up. Roller just popped himself up a barber quarter. 1905. He said it was mixed with iron. Awesome find. Matt, Wild Digger just got him one. SLQ. All right. Man, it's awesome. That is awesome. Silver 14 for the year. Let me clean it off here. Let's see what we, get. we got a date on her. Might be able to get a date. It wasn't a great signal. Nope, smoothie. God, I hate it's that. Type three in it. It's type two. It's type two. Not even a mint. Boy, she pretty. Look at it. The three holes in her wings. Check that out. That's not all the way through. That's wicked. Awesome. Nice going, man. Appreciate it. Let's get some more. Wild Digger just got him another one. I'll take a mark. Uh, like 1918. That's Ooh, nice. nice. Yeah, it's in good shape. Little mint, silver 15 for the year. I did not think that was going to be a coin, let alone silver. <laughs> it was 1237 all the way down in the bottom of there. That's awesome. That is awesome. Nice going, man. Appreciate it. Woo! All right, guys, we're all worn out. End of the day, and I'll do a quick wrap up for you. Starting over here, Wild Digger. Matt got a, uh, what was it, 1927? Yeah, 20, I think, believe it is. 27 Standing Liberty Quarter. And did we get a date off the Merc? 1918. 1918 Merc. 1901. And a 1901 V nickel. I still got a few weeks there. dates on those. Up here, Luke got a uh, 1905 Barber Quarter. Does that have a mint mark? No. No mint mark. Uh, Kevin got a 1907 engine. And this was just a bunch of junk and clad. I got a bunch of wheats. I got a 1912 Barber Dime. Did you say that had a mint mark on it? 
D. Yeah, D. 1912D Barber Dime. A 1912 Barber Quarter. Some kind of junk metal St. Christopher's medallion. I bought that one. And a little silver ring. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to check out Wild Digger and Roller Jones channel. I'll put a link down in the description. See you next time.